Jimmy Mac here, and I'm going to the woods. Going to have a good time. Supposed to be in the low 60s, high 30s tomorrow morning. Ooh, going to have a fire. See y'all there. Okay, well, I'm here in the forest. I've done some cutting over here. But I'm going to be going down this way and headed off to the southwest, which is over that way, and uh, see what I can find. Well, I'm in a short way. There's a trail that's horse trail that comes coming over here from the north. <clears throat> I haven't crossed it yet. I want to cross it and head back up to the north and see what I may find over there. Walking down that road, it's overgrown with new pine seedlings and looked off to the right and saw a clearing and actually discovered the horse trail. It's white blazed um, and it goes down towards Patterson Creek. Now, I don't want to go down this horse trail. I actually want to go back up over here to the northwest try to find a nice stand of hardwoods. Um, I'm more than a half mile in from my truck. So let's just go see what we can find. There's a nice open spot down in there. Let me see where this continues. Let's go over here to the right. Well, there's a ravine down there. Might be some intermittent water, according to the topo.
Well, this appears to be Patterson Creek. There's not much water flowing in it. Two weeks ago when I came up here, this was all flooded. But we're gonna go upstream and try to go up over in that area and see what we can find. Well, it's still pretty thick back in here. Found a game trail I was following back in here. But it's still all this big pine, thick understory, no hardwood. Kind of slopes a little bit. Well, let's continue look. Well, I came back up the trail a little bit. It looks like a nice spot over there. I get up in the edge of those pines. This little ridge comes down. There's a big old pine that's gonna fall down the next big windstorm. But it's kind of, I think I can get down across that swale. Looks like I might be able to get down through there and go up this way. Well, let's head back to the truck. I cheated. Didn't throw my bag on my back because I didn't know where I was going. So let's go back and get suited up. Well, here's my gear. It's probably too much for one night, but it's supposed to get down in the high 30s by early morning. So, I don't know how much it weighs. Probably weighs too much. I keep trying to think I can pare stuff down, but then turn around and go, oh, I need this. But I got my chair, I got my pad, I got some reflective windscreen uh, heat reflector to put underneath. I got a ground cloth in there, tarp, food, some wool sweaters, stove, fuel, another accoutrement. So I'm at the trail, after I came through the gate, I came down maybe 20, 30 yards, turned off through the bush on the right, because I knew I had to hit the trail somewhere. So actually I came through that back there, and here I am at the trail. Goes out that way. And we're headed west. So let's get going. Well, I'm out about 20 minutes. Um, should be getting down to a turn off. I'm gonna turn off to the left off this trail and try to go over that open ridge, semi-open ridge. Um, it's a workout for this old man, but we're gonna have a good time. Here we go. Well, I don't know how I missed that coming back out here, but that's mile 15. 
and it must be from the brick house hunt clamp which is down as the crow flies probably about three miles that way see it that way um but you know how trails go they go this way and this way and this way and up but uh this is also part of the palmetto trail runs across south carolina but anyway we're late got a date let's go well i'm down off the trail i think i want to get down over in there somewhere you've got this ravine that's right here there's another one there's another one over here on my right <clears throat> need to see where i can get across easily over here i got some down hardwood right there probably poplar Looks like some dogwood too right there wedged between the trees but this might be home for the night let's see if we can get down here and go back up y'all think I think this might be it facing the west winds going to be out of the north northwest tonight so I might want to set up over here but anyway let's get this now let's walk down here and see what we got down here well, kind of steep. I don't think I'm going to get across over there. It's kind of it's steep down there. I'm not going to get across over there. Not unless I went up, got back on the, the trail and came down further and bushwhacked through that area over there. So, nope, I think we go back up there. So let's go. Well, I walked around for a few minutes. There's my bag. There's a big old pine and it's a hardwood right there. Wish I knew more about my trees. Um, and I'm gonna go up over here, which is kind of flat. I'm going to string a ridge line between here and the pine. Get my camp set up back over here and have the fire out around here. Should be comfortable. So, let me put this camera down. We'll get started. Pack still heading.
did carry in a wool blanket. Who's that? Wool sweater. Flannel shirt. Fine. There's tarp. Ground cloth. This that stuff's cooking gear. Okay, I got the tarp set up. It's my modified Adirondack setup. See, you know, this is a 10 by 12 tarp, my favorite tarp. But, press it. It's an Equinox top, tarp. Made in Pennsylvania. I've had it for more than 10 years. It's a great tarp. Very light. It's got two tie outs on the back. I got one tied out to a tree. But other than that, now, just my homemade tie that ground claw. Still needs to be wrinkled up some more. Still kind of lazy. These things are slick. I don't care what you say. I'd get one done here, unfolded. Four by eight feet. Usually goes underneath my hammock. But today we're gonna to put it down here. Well, sort of kind of got camp set up. I don't know how it's going to be sleeping on that uh, Tyvek ground cloth. It's usually underneath my hammock. And usually if you step on it and you're in your socks or something like that, you slip and slide all over the place. I'll find out tonight, I guess when I get in there, if I slip and slide all over the place. Did I mention I brought my wool blanket? The only time I bring that is when it's cool weather. Never take it up in the high country during the summer. Don't eat it. But that's a great bag. I've had that bag for 25 plus years. It's a North Face Chrysalis. It's a pretty cool. It unzips flat. You know, the big rage now is everybody going to quilts. That thing's been a quilt for as long as I've had it. it I like it. Well, I'm taking a break. I just put the old Sven saw together. I think I need a new blade on this. Um, I've had this saw for, I don't know how many. I think it's, this is the third blade I've had on it. They last about five or six years, as often as it's used. But it's a good saw. Doesn't weigh anything, it's light. And I'm having some Arrogant Bastard Ale. It's real hoppy. I like it. I think it's made in L.A. Escondido, California and Richmond, Virginia. Made in the USA. Pretty good. I like it. Try it if you can find it. Arrogant Bastard Ale. That's good. I'm going to sit here for a minute. Then I got to go yonder way. Cut down some of that standing dead. It looks like it's dogwood. Dogwood's great to cook with. Hot coals, burn slow, dense wood. And I got some sausage. 
and rice that I'm going to have for dinner tonight. So, I'll sit here for a couple more minutes and drag it along as I go cut the wood. You know, every outdoor video has got to have an episode, a couple seconds of cutting wood. So, I need to abide by the rules. All right. This is dogwood. It's dense, heavy, burns hot, burns for a long time. It's great to cook over, but it's it's hard. It's hard to cut when it's dead and dry. So here we go. Well. I think it's pretty rotten. Try this piece over here. All this wood's eaten up. But there's one still standing right there. It's not as big. I'll go get it. Well, that was easy. I'll drag this back to camp. Let's go check this out over here. I know it's not dogwood, but it's dry. This isn't that dead. I mean, it hasn't been down long like this. It's going to be dying anyway. Looks like, to me, it's like poplar. We'll see. This will be good for the fire base. Well, it's a little after six, so I thought I'd get a cooking fire going. 
Got some dogwood that's back over there behind the fire. That stuff's hell to split. That's the cooking. It's boiling. Get ready. Turn it down to a simmer. Cover it. Seven minutes. Put the sausage on. All right, we're cooking now. All right. It's good. Got my baked potato on the on the grill. I let it cook for about 45 minutes, pull it off. It's good to be in the woods. Well, good morning, everybody. Jimmy Mac here. Had a good night. Uh, I got down in the high 30s it's kind of chilly but um I had my wool blanket in my bag and I was comfortable through the night party lights did burn out probably about 3 a.m. but other than that I'm getting ready to packed up didn't turn the camera on I cooked up a quick breakfast of some fried potatoes and bacon diced bacon it was good but uh now I'm just gonna get all my stuff together and pack it out. I slept in late, didn't get up to about 8.30 and now it's about 5 to 11. I've been piddling. So uh, let me get my stuff together and we'll get back on the trail. As an aside, this is uh, my view from my camp. I'm looking west. There's a ravine right here, runs along. It's another one that comes in over here. But I'm trying to get in doing more and more sketching. So this is what I did yesterday. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I was just penciling around. Brought a sketchbook and some markers, but just pulled out the pencils. Can't see that either. It's kind of like similar. But anyway, that's an aside. I thought I'd drop that in. Well, I'm packed up. Drinking the last bit of my water. I'll get back to the truck. And throw this thing back on my back. That'll be a couple pounds lighter. This is the last bit of water. And half the food's gone. I have this bad habit of always overpacking for food, but you never know when the emergency might arise. So, this is Timmy Mac. I'll see you back at the truck. <laughs> Here's my turn off. Go back through the bush. Follow my GPS. Get back to my truck. So, it's taking about 20 minutes to get this far. I figure about another 10 or 15. We'll see.
finally see the truck. It's about right over there. Let's head to it. Here we are at the gate. Kind of thick back through there. But here we are. Can't wait to get this bag off my back. Well, I made it back. Um, it was fun. I had a large time. It's, I don't get to do that as often as I used to. But uh, it's just one of the things I'm going to be doing on my channel. So stay tuned. And uh, y'all have a good day. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.